Hey gang, it's Sealy Clark here. I was just going to give you a quick how-to video, uh, show you how to use Skype. I speak with a lot of people online, people that ask me questions about marketing and email marketing and list building and everything like that. I get talking to people, I ask them what they're doing, what kind of marketing they're doing, um, and a lot of people, you know, whether they are building an email list, using lead capture pages, um, and some of them say yes, some of them say no, but 90% of the people I talk to, I say, well, hit me up on Skype, you know, if you're having a trouble with a particular program or something you're setting up for a lead capture page and so on and so forth, you can contact me via Skype. And they're like, well, I don't have Skype. And I'm like, okay, do you know how to set up Skype? And they're like, no. Um, so lots of times that's kind of a barrier um, for learning and for being able to help people if you're a mentor or if you're being mentored. Uh, Skype's a great way to do it because it has an over-the-shoulder feature. It's called screen share. As as you know, uh, Skype a lot of times is known for face-to-face -face chats, uh, but you can look over the person's shoulder when they share their screen with you or vice versa, and, and you can get help both ways. So, you know, my mentor has something he wants me to do. He'll tell me to share my screen. He'll say, yeah, go do this, go do that. Yeah, there's that. And, and uh, if I'm helping somebody else, I'll do the same thing. I'll have them share their screen and tell them where to go and what to do. Uh, it's a really good, easy way to get in touch with people. So if you're not using Skype and you don't know how to set up Skype, I'm going to show you. Uh, all I did was Google Skype, and it comes to Skype.com slash EN, which is English. Um, wherever you are in the world, it may come up, you know, French or, or uh, CA for Canada or whatever. It's worldwide, anyhow. And you're going to hit Download Skype. It'll take you to the site, and you'll download Skype. It'll walk you through it when you download it to your computer. Uh, since I already have Skype on my computer, I cannot show you the download process. It's fairly unimpressive. They walk you through it. Uh, you just keep hitting continue and agree with their terms of service, and it will download, and it will be on your computer like it is on mine. Now I'm going to go into my account here, and instead of signing in with my usual, I'm going to create an account. You can create it with your phone number or your email. I have created one with my phone number, but I do not, you know, I give up my phone number left, right, and sideways, so um, I can show you, your, your, what you do is you enter your phone number, then your password, and then it'll send you a text message with a code, and you'll punch it in, but I'll show you with the email. I use my email. No, I don't want you to. Send me promos. I know all about it. Uh, Arky. This is my really, really email. Um, my password. I did my email. And then the password is what you want for Skype, not your email password. That's important. Um, what you're doing right now is your Skype is going to use this. And it's going to use your password. So write your password down somewhere. Um, my best advice is to have a book with all your passwords for all your websites in it. Uh, if you use traffic exchanges and safe lists and classified ad sites to advertise that. Basically, any site you use, have your passwords written down somewhere on hard copy. Either type them in a, in a, uh, in a text document on a computer and print them or write them down by hand in a book. Keep it somewhere safe. So that way, if your computer poops out on you, you still have all your passwords. You're not left standing there scratching your head. So anyway, enough about that. I'm going to go to, you put your email, and then your Skype password. You're going to hit next. Oh, yeah, okay. I freaked up the password. Let me try that again. Try that again. And it's happy with that. Enter your name. Last name. It's a little different than the phone. And next. In the United States. My birthday. <laughs> there we go. Next. We sent a code to my email. All right, let's go check my email. And if I learn how to run that tab, okay. 
Now that's the email I entered. That's the email I'm going to go to and see if I have a happy new message from Skype. So you're on here. You go into your Gmail. <laughs> Takes us a while to load because I got my video recorder on. Huh. Yep. And we wait. And this comes from Microsoft Account Team. Verify your email address. Finish setting up your Microsoft account. Verify your email. Use this address security code because Skype is owned by Microsoft. In case you did not know that, it is. See, Microsoft. So that you get that code. That code's right here in your email. Okay. So it's not coming from Skype per se, it's coming from Microsoft. And then you just put in your code. Uh -huh. yeah, if I learn how to type, bear with me. Zero, four, five. Hit next. <clears throat> Cannot be used for emergency calling, in case you're wondering. Um, and you need to prove it's you or change your user security. Yeah. Always good to have it backed up to your cell phone. So apparently they're sending one to my phone as well because I've done this one other time. And there's my code. All right. So since I did this uh, one other time, it wants to make sure it's me. So I'm going to throw in the code. And this is a good thing. It may be a pain in the ass on the upfront, but they are making sure you're you. That way nobody jacks your stuff. So, that's my real phone number, by the way. If you folks need any help, have any questions, 207-659-9949, um, or my email, of course, as you saw um, plainly uh, prior in the video, you can reach me there. Um, you can also reach me at my first Skype account, and that's going to be Sealy C4, S-E-E-L-Y-C, the letter C, number 4. Um, anyway, so hit next. So I did a confirm via email, and then I put my phone number in there. That way, if they anybody tries to jack my account, they'll send me a security update, or they'll make sure it's really me if I make changes, like I'm doing right now. I have an original Skype account, a Sealy C4 account, but I'm putting one up for demonstration purposes. And now it's nearly done, just a couple of things. So you're going to uh, check your sound and audio. And here we go. And continue. Embrace yourself. Hi. It's me. It's really me. Uh, you know, no shave, no haircut. Don't care. Um, for informational purposes only. So as you can see when I'm running my pie hole right here, <clears throat> those green bars come up. So that's to make sure that the microphone's working. Obviously my webcam is working. So when you see this, you're good to go. And you hit test sound. Yes, I, I, I do hear the test sound. So that way you know sound will come in to you as well. Not only that they can hear you, but you can hear them. And then I'm going to hit continue. Bye for now. And what I'm going to do here is... Yeah. I'm going to continue. I just gave my best wise ass grampy grin. Um, I have previous pictures on here, but just for the sake of argument, you can, of course, take a picture of yourself right on the Skype camera and use that. Um, that's one option. I wanted to show that to you. I'm not going to use that one. So, well, changed my mind. I am going to use that one just for the sake of brevity. When you hit browse, you can go into your computer's files and get a picture. Like you see this little one of me. That's from 
uh, my wedding. Of course, good looking. Find a good looking picture. Um, it can, you know gives people you know you're smiling, you're approachable, you're you know your best you. Um, if you like, uh, some people don't care, and and that's fine. I mean, like right now, I don't have a haircut. You know, I need a haircut. I need a shave, as you see um, on the Skype camera in there. Um, sometimes that's fine. So basically, I, I showed you how to take a picture. And I'm going to use one here. So I'll use that best me for now. I'll use that picture. I can change that later. So don't worry. If you don't like that picture, you can change it. Then hit start using Skype. And, okay. Now you have your Skype account. It says you're online. What you can do with Skype is a great many things. Now, a lot of the stuff will be grayed out because this is a new Skype account. See how it says the email right there. Um, you can go in. You can switch from online to away or do not disturb or invisible or offline. Or you can have your calls forwarded. Change your profile picture. That's the one. So that's Skype profile. See how I did that. Skype profile. Change your picture. Or you can edit your profile or change sounds. All that good stuff. And basically, this is set up how I have mine set up. This is just simple, no buy and Skype credit, no fancy, nothing free to use. Um, if I'm on a call, okay, I don't know if you can see this right now. It says call, video call, answer, answer with video, ignore, mute, hold, hang up, hang up everyone, call phones, audio settings, video share screens, stop sharing screen. Now when you're on a call with somebody, once you get on a call, you'll go to call all the way down here and you hit share screens and then they will be able to you see your screen. Okay, I'll show you an example of this uh, sometime later in another video once I get someone on the phone on Skype with me. So I can show you exactly how it works. But you hit share screen, it comes up so they can see it. You do what you have to do. Show them what you have to show them. They help you or vice versa. And then you hit stop sharing screens. Uh, for example, if I was uh, sharing my screen with Richard, my, my mentor, um, I would share my screen. He'd tell me where, where to go, what to do, all that good stuff if I had a difficulty. And then he'd be like, okay, Seely, I want to show you something. Stop sharing your screen. So I'd hit stop sharing my screen. And then he'd share his and we'd go from there. Uh, so that's pretty much it on how to set up a Skype. Um, the other thing is when you do a contact, um, you can, of course, search Skype for people you know. If they say, hey, look me up on Skype, you can look them up by their name, which sometimes is difficult. Like if you have John Smith uh, for a sponsor or for an upline or for a business partner, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Not everybody has a Sealy Clark. I am the fourth Sealy Clark, actually, and I'm the only one on Facebook. I'm the only one online because it's just me and my dad now. So... Um, he, he doesn't do Facebook. So, but other people that have common names or in common parts of the country, like John Smith in the United States, there's going to be a bunch of them. But you can type in their name or their Skype handle. Usually they'll give out their Skype handle like I do, and you'll be able to look them up. Um, you'll get chatting with them on Facebook or other social media or anywhere like that. And you'll be like, hey, can I, uh, can we, can we private message on Skype? Can we chat on Skype? And they'll be like, yeah, sure. My Skype handle is, you know, John Smith123 or whatever. And then you can hook up, and then when you have contacts, it'll have it here. Now I'm going to hop to my other account, so I'm going to do, I'm going to sign out of this one. Oh, that's what it says. Now, go on to my other one. Ah, my password. All right. I'm going to pause this because i got to find my password where I have it written down like I told everybody to do because I signed myself out. Uh, usually I'm signed in all the time and I can't remember the darn thing. So I took my own advice. I get it written down. Uh, I'm going to hit pause, go grab that. I'll be right back show you the rest. All right, so I got into my Skype account, got my password, got signed in. And what you see here, of course, you see this is more lit up than the last one. This is just something I wanted to show you. Of course, you still have all the same functions. You have Skype, your status, your profile, privacy, your account, so on and so forth. Add contact, create a new group, list of contacts, and a Skype online messenger. You can have a bunch. I don't really use that. I just, my contacts, I contact them, they contact me. 
Um, like I said, if you're talking with them, if you see them somewhere on social media or anywhere else, and you want to chat with them or they want to chat with you, they'll give you their Skype handle and they'll end up in here. Of course, you have a whole list of contacts. And so you have contacts and recent conversations. Um, just talked to Judy there a little while ago. She's um, getting away from a hurricane right now. Matter of fact, she's in Florida. So I talked with her. That's the latest person I talked to. Um, this is one of my groups here that I just hit up. And uh, you can call. You can video call. You can phone call. Or you can, you know, add people to the group. But this is just basically, no matter what you have, like if I wanted to call, let's say Richard, I'd find him. Where are you, Richard? Richard! <laughs> Sneaky little little. Where is he? There he is. All right. So, yeah, you can call him here, video him here, anything of that nature. Oh, God. So well, that's how you do it. You know. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you the function of screen share. You go up here, Skype, Contacts, Conversation, Call, View, Tools, Help. You're going to want to go to Call. Now you can see Video Call, Regular Call, Call Phones, if they have their phone number in there. You can adjust your audio or video. And then you can also see here below this Share Screen, Stop Sharing Screens, but it's under call. It's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th one down. I don't know if you can see that little bit in gray. but So that is how you set up your Skype. And that is how you get going off a personal computer. I will be doing how to get going off of an iPhone. But basically you go to the uh, App Store, download Skype, go through the same process only on a phone. Um, it looks a little different, but it works real well. Matter of fact, sometimes I prefer uh, I prefer Skype on my phone to Skype on my uh, computer. Sometimes a computer can be real temperamental. Uh, the phone app seems to be better. But either way, get Skype so you can get connected. You can get with the people that you're learning from or, in some cases, get to the people you're teaching. And you can do share over the shoulder. They can see what you're doing so you can advise them. And you can see what they're doing so you can advise them. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, if you guys and gals, if you have any questions, give me a shout on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, give me a shout back at this email if you get this video via email. So just give me a holler, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. And since this is, not to be an ass here, but since this is a video about Skype, if you're having trouble with this video and you can't get on Skype, of course, I won't, I won't tell you to, call, to uh, contact me via Skype. Just... Uh, hit me up on my phone number because wherever you got this, whether it's an email or if it's on my blog or if it's on my YouTube channel, my contact info for all this stuff will be below this video. So anyway, thanks for your time. I appreciate it and uh, have a great day.